The clutch is an excellent tool for use in a twin tension rope system. A twin tension rope system can be considered when a hauling and lowering system is suitable for the job and scope of work. In this example, the twin tension rope system is utilized for the remote operation of a worker. This allows a potential rescue to be conducted without intervention. When using the system to haul or lower, considerations for your risk assessment should include the availability and strength of the anchors, the management of personnel working near an edge, and that the path of the ropes are free from hazards. After a full risk assessment is carried out, we begin our hauling operation. First, we lock both of the clutches and have the technician commit to the system. Next, we install a rope grab on the twin tension rope system and add a pulley to create mechanical advantage. And finally, we add a redirect to allow the hauling system to be pulled downwards. This allows the technician to use their body as a counterweight to the load. In this case, a firm grip on both ropes with gloved hands, pulling on a redirected 3 to 1, is able to pull the load up with manageable effort. As the rope grab gets near the anchors, a simple adjustment sliding the grab towards the load resets the system. Next, we'll turn the haul to a lower, removing the mechanical advantage and redirecting both ropes through carabiners on the anchors. This will help manage the rope along the clutch's friction shoe. We operate both of the clutch handles simultaneously, maintaining control of both ropes with the other hand. It is important to lower slow and precise. A nice smooth lower enables the technician to maintain stability along the structure. Here, we have the technician ascending a system pre-rigged to lower, with dual clutches on the ground anchors and redirect anchors above the technician. If the technician were to become incapacitated, a simple lower is all that is required for rescue. Here we are able to operate both clutch handles at once, with the other hand maintaining control of both ropes to ensure contact with the clutch's friction shoe. Contributing factors to variability in the system will include the total length of ropes, wear in the soft or hard goods, the buildup of water, dirt, or ice, and the total mass of the load. Continuous training in these types of techniques is required to be able to adapt during changing situations.